you're a new photographer and you're going to go and buy yourself a new camera or your first camera and you're like I've got some money I'm going to go buy a 5D Mark IV I'm going to buy a 7200 I'm going to buy a 100 or 400 I'm going to buy a 60 just stop you see buying a camera is like learning to drive you get in the car and your drive instructor says, hey, bro, what, Keith? Parallel park for me. What's your brain going to do? Your brain's going to be like... <laughs> You're not going to parallel park on your first time. You're not even probably going to know what the clutch pedal is. You're not going to know what gear to put it in. This is the exact same with buying your first camera. Except you're probably not going to get from A to B and your camera's not going to have wheels or... You're not going to kill someone with your camera. Probably could kill someone with your camera, but you're not going to kill someone with your camera. Three steps you need to take before you even purchase your camera. First, ask yourself what type of photographer you want to be. Then, you want to look at cheap cameras. Cheap cameras. Even sometimes, if you can't afford a new camera, begin with, use your phone. Whatever you have, familiarise yourselves with three main points aperture, iOS and shutter speed these are the basics of a camera then you want to buy one lens one lens and you're going to practice with this lens until you're sick of this lens basically buy a cheap camera to begin with that's the first main point this is my 5D Mark II this is a Canon 1000D sold. I don't think you can buy it second hand But this camera I shot with for the first two years of my my career and I brought a 50 mil and that's it That and I think I shot mainly with the basic lens Which you get which is I think 18 to 55. I also had a, actually I also had a Tamron uh, Okay, I had more than one lens, but I had basically I had a Tamron 70 to 200 I think it was 70 to 300 and that lens broke, but I still used it. In fact, I took this photo here with this 1000D and a broken Tamron lens. What I'm trying to get is, at the time, or even now, to be honest, I'm not an amazing photographer, or I wasn't then. I didn't know even know what aperture was or whatever, but that camera was still able to take that shot. And when you think about that, this camera is probably 50 pound, maybe $75, yeah, you're gonna go and spend two to three grand on a body and yet this camera took that shot so it shows you that you don't need to spend a lot of money on a camera why do I use a Canon 5D Mark II instead of the newer ones such a beast it is literally so good and I haven't got any reason to upgrade it and if I was gonna upgrade it would be a lens so that I could get a different perspective or better quality because the lenses are more important than the body because maybe Canon will replace this and bring out a better one I'm still using a camera that's three or four years old and in fact you could probably pick, I pick my body up for £400 so even that's so cheap for such a professional body and I know a couple of other professionals that are using this body it will blow your mind of what is in these bodies you will not be able to use the basic to begin with let alone be able to use the professional ones or even use them to the full potential and the best bit about having an older camera or uh, is it will limit you at some point it will start to limit you and what's good about that is it shows you that you grow as a photographer and that is the time when it starts to limit you that you need the next body you need to upgrade because you're trying to do things that your body's not able to but to begin with that will that will not happen I promise you that will not happen you need to learn the basics of the camera know your camera inside out and then upgrade professionals are not using always the best bodies and that the lenses are more important and there's three areas that you can do first before you even buy a camera. Look to buy an older body. Buy one lens and look at other people's work, what type of photographer you want to be. This will determine what lens you should buy. If you're a professional photographer and you've got some help with people that are about to buy their first camera, stick it in the comments below and uh, give your advice to these uh, people. And if you're a person about to buy a new camera, maybe put in a list below what cameras you're looking at and maybe we can help each other to pick the best cameras but without having to spend the most money because it's about photography it's not about the best camera hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel and uh, we'll see you in the next video